detained and repatriated from neighbouring Sierra Leone earlier this week. Mr Costa, who is also a radio talk show host, has been behind a series of public protests in Monrovia in which thousands of people have taken part to demand answers over allegations of high-level corruption. I spoke to Henry Costa on the line to the U.S. and asked him first if he felt happier and safer now that he is abroad. Sadly, uh, unfortunately, that is the fact. I feel safer here in the U.S. than I felt in my own country. The Liberian government has declared you a wanted person on grounds that you obtained forged travel documents. What's your response to that? It is unfortunate. It is politically motivated and it is uh, it is a cheap farce. I returned to Liberia on the 19th of December, presented to the immigration at the airport this particular document, which they accepted, they validated, they stamped it, and they allowed me entry into my country. How is it that three weeks later, they would now come up to say that the document that I presented to them, which they accepted, was forged? It is not true. Uh, It is because of the peaceful protest we had, which embarrassed the government and the president, about the scale of corruption and bad governance happening in our country, with which we are very dissatisfied. Their action is based on that, nothing else. So is it a a Liberian passport that you travelled on? Uh, When I went to Liberia uh, on the 19th of December, I left my passport in Ghana because I had wanted to obtain a Schengen visa to be able to travel to Europe to see my son who lives in Italy. Because of that, I obtained the temporary uh, emergency travel document, which is very easy to obtain. And uh, that is what I got. That is what I presented to them. That is what they accepted, only for them to say three, three weeks later that the document was forged. But the document that they presented to me three weeks later was not the same document I had presented to them on the day I arrived. My signature was forged. So instead of the government accusing me of forgery, I am the one saying that the document they presented to me three weeks later, when I was about to leave the country to return to the U.S., was not the same one that I presented to them three weeks earlier when I entered the country. Okay, well, maybe we should take a step back slightly here. Why do you think that the government of Liberia is going to such lengths to discredit you? Oh, man, because we've organized two of the largest protests in the country. On June 7th, the Council of Patriots, which I'm chairman of, organized the largest peaceful protest in the history of the country, and brought the world's attention to the problems in the country, the corruption, bad governance, the divisiveness of the president. And these are the things that are pissing them off. Then on January the 6th, we organized yet another successful peaceful protest, which was attacked by police using water cannon and tear gas, condemned by the international community and the Independent National Human Rights Commission. So the government is angry that we are exposing their corruption, we're exposing their bad governance and the failing economy, which the president is doing nothing to fix. These are the reasons why they're targeting me, ma'am. The government says the government says that uh, that you are part of a conspiracy spearheaded largely by people from the so-called Congo community, which are the descendants of the and also involve uh, America Liberians. These people are f- uh, from the group that used to govern Liberia. And uh, the government says that they can't take it that a so-called native, an indigenous Liberian like George Weir is now president of the country. In essence, the government is saying that you are a Trojan horse or, or you or you are part of a group of people that don't want the current president because you feel that he's not entitled to be president because of his position in, or, or his, the, the, the people that he comes from in Liberia. Ma'am, I belong to the Pellet tribe. My tribe is the largest tribe in the country. I'm a Pele man. The president's tribe is way smaller than my my tribe. The issue here, this is exactly what the president says. When he flies private jets while people are suffering, then he says, oh, they're, they're saying these things about me because I'm a country boy. What matters is how badly he's running the country. And everybody is concerned, including those who voted for him. He's extremely unpopular. It runs the country as though it belongs to him. He's the most divisive president we've had. It has nothing to do with his ethnicity. It has everything to do with his bad leadership style. That's what it's about. Nothing to do with the fact that he is from Gibraltar, an impoverished, uh, downtrodden community. I, I was born in a village. I'm a country boy myself. But we refuse to accept the way he's running the country. So it's got nothing to do with ethnicity, but everything to do with his lack of leadership. So what next? Are you going back to Liberia soon? I will return to my country in May of this year. I will return to Liberia in May of this year. 
Let them arrest me at the airport, charge me with, with whatever crimes, let them prosecute me. I will go home. And you know that Focus on Africa will be watching that. It was Henry Costa, uh, the radio talk show host in the U.S. It's Friday, so it's time.